So today we're going to be talking about supplements. Um, to start out with, we have the staples of supplementation. If you're going to be living an active lifestyle or you're going to be starting strength training or you're just an athlete in general, um, the three supplements that you should incorporate in your diet are whey protein, a multivitamin, and fish oil. Whey protein, protein is the protein is ultimately the building block of muscle. So after say an intense day of lifting weights, you definitely want protein in your diet to help build your body back up. Uh, a multivitamin, it would be ideal to get your vitamins and minerals throughout your day, throughout your diet, but that's not always the case, so it's great to supplement this into your um, everyday uh, nutrition. And then we have fish oil. So fish oil are fish oil is basically your um, essential fatty acids, your omega-3s, and it also serves as basically like a lubricant for your joints. Alright, so here we have a casein protein. It's a slow digesting protein, unlike the whey protein over here, which is fast. Um, ideally, it's to take this at night, right before you go to sleep, because when you're sleeping, uh, you're obviously not taking any calories, so this feeds your muscles while you're sleeping to fight that catabolic state that you're in when you're sleeping. So right here, we have creatine and uh, it basically supplies you with energy and it helps aid the process of building muscle. And then next we have a pre-workout. Uh, I love, well, we love pre-workout. We can't work out without it. <laughs> and uh, it's basically, uh, most of them contain uh, amino acids, which are basically broken down proteins and supply you with quick energy. And uh, basically all of them also contain caffeine, which is why when you take it, you just feel in like elevated mood and it contains a lot of caffeine usually. And then uh, next, we have glucosamine, and what this is, is it helps fluidity in your joints, so anybody who's really on a strength training regimen for a long duration or for a long time, I would recommend it. And personally, when I had like a shoulder issues back like, a couple of years ago, I took it, and a couple months later, it felt a lot better. So here we have fat burners, and fat burners are kind of a tricky supplement because you really have to do your research on each one because most of them rely on a lot of caffeine and that can not be good for your body as is because through personal experience when I took this one for example uh, if I took too much or if, it was on, if I was on a real empty stomach it uh, made me feel kind of funky but so then I got I switched to this which is a uh, CLAs and it's great for you it uh, increases your metabolic rate and muscle growth and uh, I recommend this for sure. <laughs> so thanks for joining us guys. Um, hope you learned like a little bit about supplements and basically what we recommend is to really do your research. You know, it, it's not gonna be best for you to take all of this and then not be living, not lead an active lifestyle. So do your research, do what applies towards you and have fun. See you later guys. <laughs> I was not for it. <laughs> Didn't know that. Well, cool. Will you press it? <laughs> Chris Ram, we're on the tracks, yo.